To celebrate Black History Month, let's learn about the lives of some of the many Black saints throughout history. They were sinners like you and I, but they surrendered their lives to follow Jesus. They are now praying for us all in the presence of God in heaven. So, there's a lot that we can learn from their lives as to how to better follow Jesus ourselves. And we can ask them to pray for us. The Ethiopian eunuch was a man who humbly asked the Apostle St. Philip to explain the scriptures to him. When St. Philip told him that the scripture was about Jesus, who brings good news, the Ethiopian eunuch was baptized and became the first non-Jew to become a Christian. He then went out to bring the good news about Jesus to others and his ministry was powerful. There are today 36 million Christians in Ethiopia. Perpetua and Felicity were two young women around 22 years old. Perpetua was a new mother and Felicity was pregnant. They were put in jail for declaring Jesus as Lord. They were in jail with three catechumens and they all refused to deny their faith to save their lives. Unfortunately, they were beheaded at a celebration of the Emperor's birthday. Perpetua recorded many of the events in her journal, which is now called The Passion of Perpetua and Felicity. Saint Monica was the mother of Augustine of Hippo, who had left her to teach rhetoric at top universities. While he was gone, he left his faith and was living a life in sin. However, Saint Monica prayed fervently for 17 years for him, and God answered her prayer, because Saint Augustine of Hippo had a conversion back to the faith after speaking to Saint Ambrose. Then he became a theologian and doctor of the church. He wrote a lot about the Trinity, baptism, original sin, and he successfully defeated the Pelagianism heresy that human perfection is possible without God and without Jesus' sacrifice. Saint Athanasius was a theologian and doctor of the church who defended the truth and defeated the worst heresy in church history, which is Arianism, the belief that Jesus isn't fully God. Saint Moses the Black was an Ethiopian slave who was also a murderer and a member of a gang of thieves. After trying to hide from authorities, he took shelter in a monastery where the monks influenced him to follow God. He became a monk, so he was changed to live a life of deep prayer and fasting, and eventually four of the members of his former gang joined the monastery as well. Saint Julia was born in Carthage, but after an attack by barbarian Persians, she was sold into slavery at a young age in Syria. She continued to fast, pray, and passionately love God. She was taken with her master to an island called Corsica, where she refused to participate in a pagan ceremony. Felix, the governor of the island, disliked this refusal, so he promised her freedom if she denied Christ, which she refused to do. Then he tortured her by striking her in the face and tore her hair from her head. Then they crucified her.
St. Martin de Porres helped the Dominicans with cleaning and elder care from age 11 and eventually became the first black Dominican, even though there was a racist rule at the time that didn't allow black Dominicans. He later founded a children's hospital, pet hospital, and an orphanage, and God worked through him to accomplish many miraculous healings, and even raising one person from the dead. Pierre Toussaint was a Haitian slave and was later forced to move to New York City. After his master died and he was free, he gave his time to serve others and glorify God by opening his home to orphans and educating them with his wife, as well as nursing abandoned people who were suffering from yellow fever. He said, I have never felt I am a slave to any man or woman, but I am a servant of the Almighty God who made us all. Charles Luanga was the leader and instructor of the Society of Missionaries of Africa, also known as the White Fathers, in Uganda. He protected the boys from the King Mwanga, who was a pedophile. In May 1886, he learned that the king was going to kill the Christians in south-central Uganda, where he was. The king held a court assembly in order to threaten to kill them if they do not deny their faith in Jesus. But all 22 of them didn't deny their faith because they knew they would go to heaven. All of them were martyred. Under Luanga and the other White Father's instruction, the surviving Christians in Uganda held fast to the secret truth. And after Mwanga's death, hundreds of Catholics were found there. Martin Luther King Jr. isn't a canonized saint. However, he lived a life for Jesus and probably is a saint in heaven. He became the leader of the 1950s and 1960s American Civil Rights Movement. He led many marches and speeches to protest against racist Jim Crow laws that were very prevalent in America at the time. Unfortunately, he was assassinated for his efforts on April 4th, 1968. However, the movement he led caused massive change and the removal of many explicitly racist laws. This was accomplished through the Civil Rights Act, Voting Rights Act, and the Fair Housing Act. These people served God in a variety of circumstances, so they show how we can also serve God in whatever circumstances we are in. Thank you so much for watching, and happy Black History Month.